Nowadays, the only reason I watch local news is when a blooper makes it to YouTube. But they can grow to be <laughs> But watching how much Bob Herzog puts into his Dance Party Fridays on Good Morning Cincinnati, it kind of makes me want to watch more. And I think there's gonna be a long, long line of cars as you try to get to work on time. I'm the traffic man. As for those dance moves, Bob must have been a fan of Good Day in L.A. because Jillian Barbary has been busting those moves for years. I love seeing the camaraderie between anchors because they do spend a lot of time together, which explains why these two had enough time to learn a two and a half minute handshake. Impressive. 30! 30! Speed it up. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Cut out to a voiceover. We made it. Even cooler is when two anchors quit together, like these two did earlier this year, blaming shady business behind the scenes. It was a pretty classy exit. This will be Tony and my final show together here on ABC7. Some recent developments have come to our attention, though, and departing together is the best alternative we can take. And speaking of class, Jennifer Livingston had a lot of it when she stood up to a guy who sent her an email calling her obese. Listen to me right now. Do not let your self-worth be defined by bullies. Learn from my experience that the cruel words of one are nothing compared to the shouts of many. When I saw this vid, I was like, I wonder if she's related to Ron Livingston, like just because they have matching last names. And then it turns out they are related. They're totally brother and sister, which makes a perfect segue to these next vids of super famous people on their soapbox, like Tom Cruise versus Matt Lauer. Do you understand that? The difference is, no, this was no, not Matt, against Matt, her will, though. Matt, Matt, this Matt, Matt, against asking Brooks a question. Will. Matt, I'm asking you a question. I understand there's no. abuse of all of these things. No, this one is hard to watch because I'm such a huge Tom Cruise fan, and it's so out of character for him to go off like he does here. Like, isn't he there to talk about War of the Worlds? Why is he spending five minutes yelling at Matt Lauer because he doesn't know all the intricate details of ADD? I'm really not prescribing Ritalin, Tom, and I'm not well, asking anyone else to do well, it. Well, you are, you're saying, saying no, I know you're... some people who seem to have been helped. I... So Matt Lauer is pretty tough, and not nearly as tough as Barbara Walters. I would not want to be on her bad side. Here, she totally schools the Donald back when he wouldn't shut up about Obama. Donald, you're making a fool of yourself and that hurts me because you're a decent man stop it get off it donald all right let's go on a lighter note here how about a proposal on air by news anchor it's a little awkward but it's short and sweet so i love but it really i only have one question to ask you and it's the most important question i've ever asked anyone in my whole life will you marry me oh, <laughs> Now that's adorable. She just goes right in for the kiss, doesn't even look at the ring. So what about you? What's the craziest thing you've ever seen an anchor do? Let me know at msnnow.com. I'm Kurt Myers, and now you know about it.